YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am, honestly, I'm feeling a little weird. You guys are coming along on my archery practice session. I'm gonna show you how a session typically goes for me, and we're basically just gonna hang out because there's a lot of craziness going on in the world right now, as I'm sure you are all aware of. So I want this video to be fun and entertaining and to help take your minds off of the craziness for a bit so you can just sit back, relax, and enjoy. Let's jump into some practice. Let's have a little fun. Oh. These are all old arrows. I actually am not using any of these arrows right now. I just haven't found a better spot to put them. So as you can see, it is very windy today. It's approaching noon. I wanted to be out here way earlier, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. Um, so I'm still gonna practice, even though the wind is a bit crazy, it'll force me to slow it down a little bit and pay attention to that and try and shoot when the wind momentarily pauses, but we'll see how it goes. Let me get a couple rounds through. And then I'll talk to you about some of the things that I'm working on. Oh no, my peep is twisted. It doesn't normally happen to me. All right, not too bad. So I have been playing around with my bow poundage a little bit because I'm working on my draw cycle. That one felt so good. Oh, except my anchor's a little off. Oof, that one was not pretty, not pretty. I rushed that, that's all right. All right, I'm gonna rest a little bit. The reason why I'm resting is for my shoulders. Ooh. pause there's a truck coming I get so weird when people watch me film in public because a I think it's rude when you're in public scenarios to have your camera out in your face it's just weird and b it's just awkward to film when you're in public and people are just looking at you while you're filming I don't know it's just a weird unnatural kind of interaction that happens anyways I'm taking a break right now. I have been working very, very hard on my shoulder health. My draw cycle has always been with a low elbow and I am in the process of changing my draw cycle to a high elbow. There's a couple reasons for this. The biggest one is just addressing my shoulder issues. I have found within the past year, I've been having a lot more shoulder pain. I think a big reason because of that is my posture. I sit hunched over working on a computer for a lot of the day. And just in general, I don't think my posture is the greatest. I also am a side sleeper, so I sleep on my side, my shoulders collapse, and I think that causes some of the pain. And I also have some minor lingering issues. I don't know exactly what they are, but issues and injuries that have been caused from sports. So I used to be a volleyball player, which is extremely hard on your shoulder. Outside hitter, hey. I also used to be a swimmer, and that's also hard on your shoulders. So there's just, I think, some buildup of minor injuries and poor posture and things that have been going on. 
that have always caused me to have sort of weak shoulders, unstable shoulders, and that's where my low draw cycle came from. I'm finally addressing it because I know that my archery form can be better if I'm able to draw from a more upright position with my elbow I will pull the bow back and immediately be within that anchor point setup sorry the wind I'll immediately be within the realm of my anchor point without drawing back lifting up my elbow adjusting my grip so there are a lot of things going on there in bow hunting you need every bit of help that you can give yourself so for me to be able to draw straight back versus down and up and adjusting, it's less movement, which is, I think, I mean, I think that's a pretty obvious one. It's just more advantageous for a bow hunter. Sorry, the wind. I love archery and it just hit me one day that I wasn't actually working on making my form the best that it could possibly be because I was just being lazy with it. I was focused on other things and it was like, ah, I'm shooting good enough, so who cares, I'm comfortable. But I just wanna elevate it to the next level because archery is such a big part of my life and I love learning. So I was like, why not, you know, make it a little better. Anyways, <laughs> all of that just to say I'm taking a break because I'm focusing on my shoulder health and I don't want to shoot a million arrows back to back to back and risk either injuring or just further irritating whatever's going on in my shoulder. So I'll shoot a couple, relax, shoot a couple, relax, and just continue with that cycle through my practice. And then as the weeks and months go on, I hope that I can build up to, you know, more arrows within a smaller amount of time kind of thing. But okay, you catch my drift. Let's keep shooting. All right. Oh, I hated that. That was me trying to do a back tension release. Blech. I suck at that. But that one was good. <laughs> All right. So that was the first shot that I was obviously hating. And that was the second shot. On another note, Nick is the one editing this video. I'm normally the one who likes to get all fancy and edit things a little crazier, but Nick likes a simple edit. So let us know how you like it. So another thing to mention, this bow is no longer sighted in because I dropped my poundage down. I have not re-sighted in because I'm just practicing. I'm not like really dialing it in yet. And uh, so that's another reason why it's kind of all over the place. But those two shots, I was really focusing on bringing my elbow to the back wall. And they were better. Ta-da. Best grouping of the day. Obviously it's not where I was aiming, but again, that's not really the focus here. Uh, the grouping is more of the focus, and that's my best grouping thus far. We were kayak fishing in the Everglades yesterday, or two days ago. Oh! We paddled like 10 miles, maybe eight, but Feeling it. Not 
like that. Not bad. Not easy. That took a lot of mental focus, but not bad. All right, my party people, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm hot, I'm sweaty. I've been shooting for about an hour, so that's typically what a practice session looks like for me. I hope you enjoyed it, because there will be more of these videos to come. So that's it. I will see you in the next one.